Hi guys, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York, and I'm coming to you guys with a makeup editorial. In this editorial, I will be using my Maybelline BB cream in the color one in the color. This is in the color. I don't even see the color on this. This is says deep sheer tint, but it doesn't say the color. I'm looking for the color. This doesn't have a color on it. And so this is how it looks. It doesn't have a color on it. I was looking for the color. This is the BB cream I will be using for my foundation. This is the concealer I will be using. And this is the Wet n Wild Cover All Stick in the color 801. Um. I will be using my number 7 skin illuminator in the color peach. I will be using my fix it spray to set everything. I will be using my MAC translucent powder to, to prep and prime my face. I'm going to start off with my Maybelline anti-age primer. I will be using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion anti-aging to for my eyelid I will be using my NYC black eyeliner in the color 88 and my NYC mis curling mascara in the color 845 extreme black I will be using my NYC eyelash curler so I'm basically filming off of my mirror, so this is the reflection of everything I'm doing. I really hope you guys can see it. I'm pretty sure you guys will. I'll be using my Matisse, uh, my Matisse Collection Fluffy Matte Eyeshadow to highlight underneath my eyebrow. And this is a discontinued collection. I will be using right underneath that, I will be placing my Suede Matisse from my Ricky's Collection Eyeshadow. I have a lot of colors from them, but it was discontinued. And for my eyeshadow, I will be using my NYX Stormy Skies Stormy Skies 10 color eyeshadow palette. And for my eyeshadow, on the front it says Dreamy Dreamy Catchers palette, so it's from the Dreamy Catchers. But this is the Stormy Skies one. So I'm not exactly sure how to differentiate it. I just know that this is the Dreamcatcher palette and that's what I call it. Um, okay guys, so I'm going to start with priming my face with my Maybelline Age Rewinder. I don't want this video to go over. I already brushed and lotioned my face. So I have on a moisturizer before I do my makeup. So I put out too much of that. This is the amount I will be using in my hand. It's kind of too much still. So I'm going to take off some more. And this is the amount I will be using. I'm going to rub my hands together and apply it over my face, my eye quote. Next, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild 801 Concealer Cover All Stick. And I'm going to apply it over my face like this. So this is how my face looks. And I'm just going to rub that in. In a circular motion, rub it in so you can't see it anymore. I already pulled my hair back so I don't have to hold my hair. I'm just rubbing all of this in a circular motion.
Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my foundation. As you guys can see, I rubbed it all in in a circular motion. You cannot see anything. Any, well, My face is a little lighter because I cannot find my complexion. So I'm going to be putting some BB cream. And this is enough for my entire face and my neck. And now I'm going to grab my foundation brush because I just washed my BB cream brush so I'm just going to use my foundation brush and apply it my H&M foundation brush and apply it over my face guys I love this H&M foundation um, I love their makeup brushes because they are very high quality for the buy the only thing is when you're applying a BB cream it's so spreadable that you don't necessarily need so I'm just rubbing it in Rubbing this in, rubbing it in, working it in. This BB cream is amazing. It for me it lasts all day. So I'm working it in. I'm gonna use my fingertip because this brush is making me use too much. And these are really spreadable, creamy foundations, so I have enough for my entire face right now. So I decided to use my fingers and rub it in. As you can see, I rubbed it in my neck. And so I have an even coat. I'm going to pick up my tablet so I can show you guys how my foundation looks now. So I have an even coat right now, guys. As you can see, I have an even coat of foundation over my entire face. Over my entire neck. Excuse me. So now I'm gonna put the camera back down. I'm gonna try to leave it facing me so you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe this is better. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my bronzer, which is 740 Bikini Contest from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to apply it to the outers of my forehead, straight down. I'm going to try to come as close as possible so you guys can see. I'm using my blush brush from H&M. I'm just working this in guys. I'm gonna go along my chin, straight down my chin. And all of this I'm doing in a circular motion. And I'm gonna contour the edge of my nose. Contour the tip of my nose and my cubist bone. And go back and work it back in over my eyebrow back down and just blend it out 
I uh, blending out what I put on my nose. Down my just blending, 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 guys. Now I'm gonna contour down from the edge of my cheekbone, and then I'm gonna blend it out in a circular motion and blend it out. Now I'm gonna grab for my Jordana blush in the color 12 Rosewood. And I'm just gonna work that in. Uh huh, work that in, guys. Just working that in. With very light hand, I'm working all of this in. So I'm done with that. Now I'm going to grab for my illuminator, my number 7 illuminator. This is my skin illuminator that I will be using underneath my eyebrows. So I grabbed some. I have more than enough right now on my fingers. I have more than enough. I'm going to place that on the back of my hand and just dot underneath my eyes. straight down my forehead and just work it in I'm working it in in a circular motion making sure to get underneath my eyes looking up making sure to look up and get underneath my eyes So I'm going back and working this out in a circular motion, just the tip of my finger. Uh, working it out. So it feels nice and smooth. I'm just going to wipe off the access I have on the back of my hand. And now I'm just going to blot with this paper towel my BB cream foundation blush and so I'm going to come closer so I can show you guys how I how is so this is how it looks. I have on my blush. Zoom in so you guys can see that. That's my blush. I haven't contoured yet, guys. So that's how my face looks. My illuminator, as you can see, it has a shine. So now I'm going to go to my contouring and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm using the darkest color in my BH Cosmetics palette, this color, and I'm just going to use my fingers and contour my face. So I'm just going to apply it with my foundation brush. I hope you guys can see that.
So now that I've done that, I'm just going to contour using my finger and blend it all out. In a circular motion, just blending all of this out for this product. So I'm blending all of this out so we have all my cheap on straight on. So as you guys can see I've blended out my contour. Contour, I've blended it all out. So now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. See my contour. You can see the darkness. I blended it all out. This is my blush. So I blended it all out. My face is ready. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I already brushed them, so now I'm just going to be applying my NYX eyebrow cake to them. First, I'm going to go into this setting cream and just set it with the cream with a very light hand. I'm just setting with a very light hand. Setting my eyebrows with a very light hand. Now I'm going to the lighter color, which is this color right here, and I'm very lightly just brushing some on. Setting the outside of my brow. Now I'm going to the middle. Doing the middle. Next I'm going to the outer. I'm doing the same thing on this side. So this is how they look before I add in the darker powder. Now I'm going to go to the darker color and I'm going just with a light hand over my eyebrow back into that dark powder. I'm just filling in my eyebrow guys. So now I'm going to the other side and doing the same thing. Just slightly filling them in. Back into it. I'm just doing the tip now. I'm just slightly filling them in with a light hand. So now I'm just going to set them. So this is how they look, guys. I'm going to fix this side just a little bit. I'm just going to set them now. So 
I'm setting my eyebrows. The same clear cream that comes in the kit. So I'm done setting them, guys. So I finished setting my eyebrows. So I'm done with my eyebrows. I've set them. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes from left to right. Now I'm going to apply my mascara. Gosh, I always have to use my blanket to open it. I can never open it with my regular hand. Especially after putting the primer on my hand. And I'm just applying my mascara in a curling motion going upward to my eyelashes. And now I'm going to do that to the top right hand side. In a curling motion, guys. I'm just holding the edge just to straighten them out. Holding the edge and applying it in a curling motion to the bottom of my eyelashes. I'm just tapping off my eyebrows now guys and drying off. I got kind of hot and I was sweating a little bit. So I'm just drying off. And now I'm grabbing from my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I'm going to place I'm going to place the amount that I'm going to use on the back of my hand. So that's enough guys. And I'm going to apply it to the outer of my eye. Alright, and I'm just spreading it across. I'm just priming both eyelids. I feel like something's in my eye. I'm just priming my eyelid. So I've primed both eyelids. As you can see, it's lighter. My eyelids look lighter. I've primed both of my eyelids. I'm finishing my eyebrows. And I'm going to be applying my fluffy right underneath my eyebrows, which is a lighter color, just to highlight my brow bone. I'm using a, a brush that I, I used my powder, my foundation, and um, dual brush from H&M to apply my foundation and my blush. And I'm using my Prevail and uh, just a cheap eyebrow set that I paid $1.99 for at um, Rainbow. So I'm going to use it to highlight right underneath my eyebrow. I just thought it was so cute. And I was like, brushes for $1.99, why not? They're firm and they get the job done. So I just washed my other brushes and these work, so why not? Just 
highlighting underneath my eyebrow with a closed eyelid so that whatever um, eyeshadow comes off it doesn't go into my eye. I always tell people when you're doing this you should always do it with your eyelid closed because you need your eyes and you can always have fallout. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys that. So this is how that looks. Now directly underneath that I'm going to be using my suede just to blend out this is a nice brown natural brown color a nice natural brown color I'm going to be using it to put right underneath that so I'm just gonna I'm uh, just applying it right directly underneath that color This is the fastest I've ever got gotten this done, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm grabbing for my NYX palette. My NYX um, Dreamcatchers palette. And I'm going to apply this color on the base of my lid. This color. Right here, this, this almond color, light almond color, right on my lid. So I'm grabbing from my H&M um, eyeshadow brush and I'm just placing it three quarters up on my eyelid. And I'm making sure to blend it all out so that it's soft and subtle and it just blends right in underneath my line that I already have there. So I'm going back in again on this color. I'm doing the same thing to my left hand side. I'm blending it in. Then I'm going to grab for this smoky color right here. And I'm going to just smoke out the corners of my eye. Using that color. Above the color that I already use. So I'm just blending all of this out guys. I'm going back into that color and I'm going to do it on my right hand side now guys. Okay, so I'm done that guys. I'm going back for my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my eyelashes again now that my now that my eyeshadow is set, my foundation is on, I'm just curling my eyelashes again guys. So this is how it looks right now. My eyes, I smoky them out. I zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see that you guys can see I'm sweating a little bit. So I'm trying to hurry up with this video, hurry up and finish it. Um I don't have any any um I don't have any so I'm gonna use my eyeliner now guys. I don't have any So I'm just doing my eyeliner now guys. I go three quarters up on my eyelid and then I just do a straight line. This is a thick line I'm doing guys. I'm going to do the same thing to my left side. I'm going three quarters up and then I'm just making my line and going down. So 
So I'm finishing my eyeliner, guys. I'm finishing my eyeliner. I did a nice thick, thick so I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see that. I'm just going to clean up. I'm just going to be cleaning up my eyes and using my foundation brush to do it so whatever foundation is left on my brush it will just clean up so that's it typically for this look I am just going to be so I'm zooming back out I'm just going to be applying my powder I'm basically done with this look. I'm just going to be using my MAC translucent powder. I'm just cleaning up, guys. I'm putting away almost everything I used. Putting back my eyeshadow. I used my Sephora bag for that, guys. And I'm just putting everything back where they belong. Um... For those of you who use a liquid illuminator, you should read the box and how to clean it because you don't clean this brush with your um, with your brush cleaner. You clean it with your with warm water. It cleans with warm water. So that's the instructions for that, guys. Um, so I'm just cleaning up real quick so I can clean up my area so I can see what I'm using and what I need so I'm going to go go for my MAC prep and prime I'm going to use the same paper towel I was using the other side and clean my lips now I'm going to close them like this and I'm going to apply my MAC translucent prep and prime white powder just to I'm going to clean off the back of my hand first because I just apply it, I think it's more hygienic when I apply it on the back of my hand, the amount I'm going to use. So this is the amount I'm going to use, guys. I hope you guys can see this. This is the amount I will be using. So I'm just going to use my powder brush, dip it in and go in a circular motion on the, starting on the left side of my face. And I'm going on a circular, circular motion and I am setting my foundation and setting my foundation on my neck as well as my face making sure to look up when I'm setting my underneath my eye area so basically my face is set and it looks kind of light but don't worry about that because it's translucent so it takes like a second so basically everything is set now guys and I'm going for my max thick Fix Plus spray. I'm just gonna set all of this. So I set my entire face, and now I'm grabbing for my lipstick, which I plan on wearing this 908 Pepper Red, which looks so nice. And this is from NK, and this is how the color looks. It's just so beautiful, and nice. And I'm just gonna apply that onto my lips. I'm trying to get it nice and creamy build up. This color is buildable and it's very creamy. Uh, I am trying to get a nice creamy build up. Now I'm just going to clean up 
on the others of my mouth and that's it for this makeup look guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup editorial I know it was kind of long it was almost 40 minutes it's 35 minutes long I really hope you guys enjoy this I'm gonna go by the mirror by the window to show you guys how this look looks in the natural light So I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup editorial, guys. In my hair, I'm just having some shea butter and some organics, argan oil, penetrating oil. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look. Again, this is Brownie from Manhattan, New York. Mwah!